I'm, I'm not going on. Why? What are you feeling funny. like? Bruh. If you feel like you are hot, why did why did anybody date okay. you in the house? I didn't need that. And to okay. you, you didn't need that, me. but you're all about going you're up. Really every conversation me. in the house was about a man for you. The fact that Watoni is denying completely everything about her booed up, booed up there, booed up here, booed up there. <sighs> it's really amazing. Hey guys, welcome back again to my channel. My name is Vicky. And if you're seeing me for the very first time, hi. Consider to hit on the red subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that YouTube will inform you whenever I post a new video. Oh, guys. Today's reunion, yesterday night reunion started with Inoue Buka talking about the whole Watoni and um, Kidwire situation. And guys, you guys will not believe that Watoni had the guts to deny that she had feelings for Kidwire. Which, all of, if it was, in fact, I feel like what, um, Kidwire was the first person Watoni ever had feelings for from the point where she wanted she the truth or death she said she she would have chosen um Kidwire to kiss or from the point where did she even kiss Kidwire or something like that and the point where they they dared her to show Kidwire her underwear and she did a lot of things were so glaring to make us understand that kid um watoni actually liked kid wire and she was like no that kid is a community boy he just um, um i don't even understand what she was even saying and then there was a situation where ebuka showed where and um, kid wire was telling um tochi that if he wants watoni he should go for watoni because watoni is an e easy catch you did a lot of disrespectful things <laughs> kid there was a time you were telling Tochi to go for me, I'm an easy catch. Like, like and Tochi, you're saying you didn't have conversations with Kid, Haba. <laughs> I was... And then she was really mad about that statement. That's, that's why she now called Kid a community boy. And then she now started facing um, Tochi. And Tochi was like, I did not like you. I never wanted to go for you. And she was telling Tochi that maybe because Tochi was trying to get her, Tochi could not get her. That is why he is pained. And Tochi was like, you're a community girl. You only you wanted every man in the house, but nobody wanted you. I'm telling you there that was no your, way. Friend, your friend, the community boy, said that. You were a community girl. I am an easy catch. If you I were was, a community girl. Yes, oh, because then. you were everybody. I have, then I should he was have prince everybody to now. pray this person to this person. So why are you calling him community girl? Community girl too now. Because for some reason you will see that Watoni actually was desperate. Is that the word? Was desperate to actually get into a relationship, and unfortunately, nobody really chose Watoni. Like, yeah, this is me choosing Watoni with my full chest. It's either Watoni is going to you, and you just don't have no choice but to be close to her, like she did with Bright Toe towards the end of her stay in the house. You understand? So that's just it. And they just had, they literally had like a confrontation to. Tochi and Watoni and Tochi just um, Tochi finished Watoni you understand because she was like I did not want you there is nothing to chase about you there is nothing to like about you that is why no guy in the house was interested in you even if you were all about being booed up booed up booed up in the house what is all this denial about and blah blah you literally like every guy on the show everybody really uh, uh, Tochi you've gone uh, off and it's fine no 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 you wanna you wanna you wanna, Leo, go, you wanna like see to... crazy <laughs> No, you are saying you are, you are telling me that I did not catch you. I never asked you out. So why are you going to come to a why guy that never so asked hot? you out? Because you didn't get me. Or why did you not try, Watoni? You are not oh, even my okay. type. Really? When, when did it? Yes. And they asked every other housemate like Tricky T and the rest that if they felt like Watoni liked Kidwire. I don't understand why everybody feels like Watoni likes or everybody noticed that Watoni likes so much liked Kidwire and Watoni herself alone is the one that is trying to make us understand that she actually did not like Kidwire. I don't understand that part. Anyway, guys, moving on from the Watoni and Kidwire and then Tochi's confrontation. We're talking about the Nengi and Kidwire situation. You guys remember that bathroom thing? Even though they did not show us the clip of what actually happened in the bathroom, they were only tell we were only saw us all talking about it with New and also with Nengi. You understand that he found Nengi with Kidwire in the bathroom with her zip down. Yes, yesterday night they showed us the clip, and in that clip you see Kidwire, I think, trying to 
on on zip um, Nengi's jumpsuit, you understand? And they were in some kind of close position, which anyone that would have seen it would have suspected something. And for me, I, after watching it, even while watching it, I felt like, yes, Nengi was drunk. And you know, kid, why I've been a very flirty person. He knows how to whisper things into your ears as a lady. He knows how to just be that flirty, give you that flirty move that if you if you don't know how to control, you might just end up falling. Do you get? So I think when Kid Wire was trying to unzip her dress, they be, they came so close that his his face was on her neck or something like that. But according to him, he was whispering something to her. And so immediately he was unzipping the clothes. Also, and new walked in and Nengi ran into the toilet and then when they came out she she ran out after she finished peeing and also entered into the toilet she came to kidwire to help him zip, help her zip up again and then immediately kidwire wanted to help her zip also came out of the bathroom and kidwire just walked away <laughs> So she had to turn for us to help her zip. And that was where their, their discussion started with what did I just see? What was going on? What was happening? And then um, Nengi was trying to convince us that nothing really happened there, you understand? And, you know, because it's the other kept talking about it in the house that, okay, I believe you, whatever you say, you understand? But you will feel, I feel like there was no, there was still some sort of little conf like confusion in his head that what did i just see or what was going on you understand and then Luka came back and asked them what was happening there and they were like nengi was like i could not i can't remember but what i know is that i went to pee and i met kid wire there and i asked him to help me unzip my dress and that was it you understand and epika was like you see the positions you people uh, you people wear and kid wire was so close to you what was that about? You understand? And he was like, she does not know. And they asked Kid Wire. Kid Wire was like, maybe he was whispering something to her. Because as you all know, alcohol was involved. They actually could not explain themselves more than that. They were like, nothing happened between the two of them. And they asked Nengi, Do you, did you like Kid Wire? And she was like, she liked Kid Wire as a friend and nothing more. And then Kid Wire was like, he just sees Nengi as a friend. And then people insinuating that him and Nengi had something to do is just very disrespectful to Nengi and Omo and then another thing is Katrina I don't understand like somebody would say that was Katrina hiding in the ceiling in Big Brother house because she seemed to know a lot because Ka Katrina actually had what to say that eh, that position they were well <laughs> it's obvious what they were doing and all that what was wrong with Katrina and Nengi Katrina is just looking for every opportunity to make sure that Nengi's reputation is dented i think that's just what she's doing because she just lasted two weeks in the house and then she's knowing a lot she's having opinion in a lot of things and all that and i do not understand as in please if you guys understand leave it in the comment section let me hear from you guys because it feels like i'm not the only one in this confusion because katrina i don't understand you again how about not just two weeks today chill chill according to you <laughs> anyway guys so moving on it was time for kaisha and new new literally denied that he had nothing with not no feelings for Ke Kaisha in the house. Like seriously, new. Have I ever approached you, new? Mm. The only time I would say I approached him was when I tried to dance with you, and that's it. But countless of time, new, you have been giving me eyes. You have been giving me body signal. Wow. You even had an erection when I danced with you. Ah. You did so is much, new. This, this, is... this one where you talk now, lie, now lie, now big lie. Yes. Kaisha liked you and I feel like like praise will say that you were leading her on and that's because you liked her and I feel like maybe because V was the one that you know talked to you first and you felt like okay you wanted to respect her and be with her do you understand but I do not get the fact that he was denying completely and even got Kaisha very mad that Kaisha actually walked out of the set and V man V was like any in fact what i got from everything v just said was if he likes he should like anybody he's a man you understand so it's inevitable or something like that but the fact that neo was completely denying kaisha was like giving him instances of how what he did when he told her to kiss him in the dance hall and she was telling him that he, she can never be a second choice she does not want to be a second choice and all that she gave instance of when neo was telling her that v came to talk to him first that's why he's with v that he would have been with Kaisha if it was not V that spoke to him first. Like a lot of back and forth. And then when she walked out of the set, the other housemates like um like Eric and Prince, they talked her talked to her and she came back to say she was really, 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 really 
upset you guys get no you all, you all know that kaisha had temper issues you understand even when it was time for um nengi to talk about kid and they, everybody kaisha was like like they spoke about um um kid wire bragging in the house and kid wire was like no i did not brag maybe me living my life made you feel as if i was bragging but that was my life and kaisha gave him instances of him saying he was going to dash certain housemates money kaisha also gave him an instance where he promised nengi a trip kaisha gave him an instance where he was talking about him coming with a private jet and he was like that is him talking about his reality not like he was bragging but i felt like at the beginning kid was not bragging but towards the end he felt as if he started getting into his head a little or maybe more do you get where he started making trying to prove to people that he had money or he's from a rich background you understand because everything they were talking about yesterday about him bragging or this or that his father has money and all that he tried to be like oh more that's me living my life and if you guys are seeing it another way i cannot help it you understand so that is just it for last night the back and forth the arguments or more this street brother housemates <laughs> on the <a> trial <laughs> anyway guys hope you enjoyed my video if you did give it a thumbs up leave me a comment in the comment section and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't and turn on your bell and notification so that you'll be notified whenever i post a new video thank you so much for watching and i'll most definitely see you guys in my next basketball video i love you guys and see you guys next time bye guys